Hey, seventh grade, what's up? We're back live from my basement. Um, so today we're going to start talking about two-step equations. So... Two-step equations. And there are actually two steps to these. Step one is add and subtract. And step two is multiply or divide. All right? So the good news is that you guys already know everything you need to know to solve these. Um, it just has, it's basically like putting together two of the equations that we did before, okay? So it shouldn't be too bad. So we'll just go right into it and take a look at a couple of them. Let's drop us some easy ones. All right, 2x plus 4 equals 12. So we start these just like every other equation. We draw a line to the equal sign. And remember, our goal is to get this x all by itself, OK? So we have to get rid of this times 2. And we have to get rid of this plus 4. Well, which one are we going to get rid of first? According to our steps, we're always going to do the plus and minus first. So to get rid of this plus 4, what I'm going to do is subtract 4. If I do it on one side, I have to do it on the other. All right? So these cancel out. Now all that's left over here is 2x. I'm going to slide it over here a little bit. And then 12 minus 4 is 8. So that was the first step, the adding and subtracting. Now we still have to get this x by itself. We have to get rid of this times 2. And what's the opposite of times 2? And I want you guys to start writing this below it like this. Divide by 2. If we do it to one side, we have to do it to the other. So now our 2's cancel out. And all I have left is x equals 4. Okay? So this is basically just combining two different kinds of equations that you already know how to do. All right? Let's take a look at another one. Get my handy dandy Windex. There we go. We'll make this one a little more complicated. We'll throw in a negative sign and we'll write it backwards. So negative 18 equals 3x plus 6. So an important thing to do with these, you gotta watch, always gotta watch your negative signs, right? All right. So, make sure we're still recording. Yep, okay. So remember our goal, when I get this x all by itself, right? Then we'll know what x is. So step one says add and subtract. So on this side, you wanna get the x by itself, I'm gonna get rid of the times three first or the plus six? Oh, step one says do the plus six first. So we do the inverse, so the opposite, minus 6. If I do it to one side, I do it on the other. And these are gone. So what do I have left over here? 3x. Now, back to the old stuff. Same signs are different. Those are same signs. So we add and keep the sign, right? So 18 plus 6 is 24 and we keep the sign, which is negative, right? Remember that, same signs, you gotta keep it and add, right? So we're adding and subtracting. All right, next thing, multiply or divide. Well, this is three times x, so we're gonna divide by three. So those are gone. I have negative 24 divided by three. What's a positive and negative when you divide them? It's always going to be negative. It doesn't matter which one's bigger or smaller when we're multiplying and dividing. So a negative and a positive is a negative. And then 24 divided by 3 is 8. So x equals negative 8. That's my final answer. All right. So these aren't too bad. I think that's as deep as we're going to get with them today. But we will continue to get more complicated ones as we go. But this ones are pretty easy. So it's stuff we already know how to do. 
Just combining two things we know how to do together to make one longer problem. Go Windex.